Hi, welcome once again. So in this video, what we will see is the dynamic material instance. Now, what is dynamic material instance? It is basically, as the word says, dynamic means within the gameplay, you can change the material parameters. Now, what is that? So let me give you an example. Like here is a green ball. The moment I'm coming near, it changes its color. So these are, these are what called the dynamic material. Now, these dynamic material could be anything related with the material, any parameter related with the material. So here you can see this color of the ball changes the moment I'm hitting it. What exactly is this dynamic material? Let me explain. So what we have here, here is basically a ball there is a mesh which has been assigned a certain material and there is a box covering this and anything which triggers this box in terms of hitting this box the event of changing of the color will initiate so that's what basically the dynamic material instance now this is basically the blend of both material and blueprint please like this video if you find it informative and helpful and yes subscribe to our channel for more updates so uh, so what we need here is basically a new material and for dynamic instance instead of material what we would require is basically the blueprint class and you would be wondering what about the material yes we will connect the material it, either we can make the material separately or we can choose any of these materials whatever we have made earlier so let's start so select actor after blueprint class now name this as a dynamic material one now double click the dynamic material so you get this viewport now add component so let us suppose you can add a sphere so here we have a sphere and we can name this sphere as ball fine so what we need is something which will act as a trigger and that trigger will basically initiate the event where we will change the material so let me have box so box collision so let me increase the size yeah okay fine so maybe like this so any changes you do in uh, in the blueprint you need to compile and then save okay now there is something called construction script now this construction strip you have to tell what is going to happen so in the construction strip what you have to select is the ball you drag the ball out here and from here what you need is the dynamic material dynamic material instance so drag it and then right click and look for dynamic material instance so here we are now let us understand what are the factors first you connect the construction strip to this uh, create dynamic material instance node now the ball is the target here we have the element index zero now what is this element index let us go back to viewport and select this ball now in the element zero there is some material which is selected now here by default this white material is selected but this material is something which we are not going to change now what we have to do is let us see what material available there which we can change so let me consider this m1 let me select it and press this arrow over here so what you get is that material being applied on this mesh now let us open this material it's a very simple material now as earlier we have discussed that this has to be in parameters now what is that let us suppose you click three you get this base color now this is constant here you have to see is the convert to parameter the moment you convert it to parameter it looks like this how will you check whether it is converted into parameter or not you can see convert to constant so it becomes the earlier version so what you need is the parameter now earlier also in material instances we have discussed that you know the moment you convert into the parameters you can control this from anywhere within the game also you can change these parameters so likewise for the metallic also and for the roughness we have converted all into the parameters now coming back to this script so let me go back to construction script okay so the material index is zero here the material index for this is the zero which is selected so these will be affected and it will automatically select the material with every change it is better that you compile and save it for return value on this circle press right click and here you will see as a promote to variable click as a promote to variable so you will have this now it is written that new variable 
here you see is the new variable now what you rename it as dynamic material done so it is done till now so let me again summarize we selected a mess we selected a material and then we created one box which will act as trigger now let us go to the event graph so in the event graph there are a lot of things which is already present i think let's delete it and see one by one in the event graph what you need is the box drag the box over here fine so what we have is the box okay not required so delete it you select the box and then right click so what you will see since this box is already selected what you will see add event for the box see there is a small triangle click on that you see there is a collision which we require and that will act as a trigger and then add on component begin overlap select this here you get so there are so many things so we will get into it whatever it is okay now here we have the dynamic material so the event will begin when there is a overlap now what will begin so here is the dynamic material you drag it over here and click on the get dynamic material so here you have and then right set vector parameter value so here we are now what is this set vector parameter value okay connect it now dynamic material is the target and what is the parameter name what is this parameter is this parameter or this parameter or this parameter so let us suppose here it is a uh, sort of red we want to change this color so we have to name whatever is given here so here it is written as a base color so let me write it base color compile and save now what we have done we have told the system that we want to change this is the target when it will change we have given the information now what is that change so here is the value click here and you can see again that color palette opens so let me change this color into blue or maybe a sort of dark blue click over here compile and save so we are done as of now for dynamic material one now let's see what happens where is this dynamic material dynamic material okay so here is the dynamic material so here we are okay now with the proximity fine now what will happen the moment we initiate the gameplay and our character reaches and gets into this box or collides with this box there will be change in the color so let's do it so let me go here you can see there is a change so let me stop it let me do it again so the moment i am within that box the parameter which is the color of the ball changes so that's become the dynamic now this is this tutorial is basically to give you a hang of what blueprint is and how the dynamic material can be created now the question is is it only color or is it only material uh, roughness no there are a lot of thing which you can create okay so here let me go bit more what we have done from this color we have changed the color into blue 
now we can do some random also how we can do it so there is something called random float okay in case you need random float in case nothing is coming so it is better that you unclick this and see whether it is coming possibly it is not coming so type it again random random float in range we need random float in range now what is this random float in range this gives a minimum and this gives a maximum now what exactly is this so let us suppose this is the color so here we can define these colors out here how you can define it so let us suppose it could be minimum of uh, possibly 0 maximum of 1 and then you copy it and paste it three times now why three times because you know we need I think it is four times so let me delete one okay so what we need is basically RGB so this is for red this is for blue this is for green now what we need is these three parameters or informations need to be compiled into something called make color here we are make color now this all will be randomized So here we are now what this will give is a random color earlier what we have done we have fixed some color but now what we are doing is we are simply giving an information that randomly it will choose the color and we have given all random colors for RGB channel so compile save you can see there is no change out here but when it comes to gameplay there will be change so let's play and let me hit again so it changes to some different color again it changes to some different color again it changes to some different color the moment i'm hitting again and again this color is changing so this is all about dynamic material instances so this tutorial gives you a blend of blueprint where we have seen that the various components of the blueprint and how we can use it in our real life experience that's it for this video see you in the coming video thanks thanks a lot